Wow, guys, I don't know what to think about this thing. I mean, there are some things that I really like about it. There's some things that I really don't like about it that I think need to be improved. But I do think, all in all, it's moving in the right direction. It's definitely got major potential. It's called the Maze from Vandy Vape. And it's like a combination between a sub -um tank, an RDTA, and a Squonk RDA all in the one. All righty, so here's the packaging that my Maze BF sub -um RDA came in. Of course, inside that packaging, you're going to receive your maze. Comes with an extra disc style coil head. You get a solid gold plated 510 pin and a tube for tank mode. A baggie of goodies, which includes an Allen key tool for your squonk pin, extra O rings, and a Delrin 510 drip tip adapter. Comes with a maze BF sub ohm RDA user manual. And last but not least, you receive a Vandy Vape quality control card. Now, I've personally seen two different color options for this bad boy a matte black and a polished stainless steel. The matte black one that I received comes with a red 810 acrylic drip tip and the the stainless steel unit comes with a green 810 acrylic drip tip. She's primarily made of stainless steel 24 millimeter at the base and 33 millimeter in length. At the base base she comes pre-installed with a gold plated protruding squonk pin. Also the peak insulator is protruding and the threads are nice and smooth. Also at the base of this device it says Mays BF sub ohm RDA up top and then down here you got Stefan Z's logo or Steven Z's logo and then underneath that it says designed and manufactured by Vandy Vape. And as you guys can see on the outside of the barrel you got five different circular airflow grids and um, they're closed off all the way right now just to show you i want you to see it because it's kind of hard to see when you adjust the airflow but in order to adjust the airflow you grab a hold of this airflow ring up top and boom you can open her up look at that she's wide open and look it kind of looks like it's blocked off at the top and top six airflow slots all across the board but it's not let me show you why it's not you grab a hold of this airflow ring or top cap and it's got these notches these downward angled notches so from the outside it's going to look like it's blocked off but it's not the airflow is going to hit these notches right here and travel down and hit the top of the disc which i'm going to show you in a second but yeah once again here's a look at that top cap inside there you got the conical shape thing going on to enhance the flavor and smooth out that airflow so again you want to line up these circular airflow grids with each notch and then you can close it off. And that's completely closed off, but I'm gonna open her up again. I like it about halfway open. Wide open's crazy amounts of airflow, guys. Crazy! But you guys get the drift. That's how they adjust the airflow. And here's a look at the red 810 acrylic drip tip that comes with this. Inside the top cap, you got a nice beefy O-ring and she fits snug, snug, snuggy, duggy. And here's the inside of the maze barrel. And check out the deck section for this puppy chugger. At the top, screwed into it, you've got this disc. I call it a flat coil head, because that's basically what it is. You unscrew it. And voila, there's your disc. And I received two of these bad boys for my kits. And both of them read 0.2 ohms. And you can see on the side, it says Vandy Vape. And then on the other side, it says the reading. The reading. The resistance. 0.2 ohms. 50 to 100 watts recommended. They say it vapes at its best between 70 and 90 watts. And here's the bottom of the disc. So it's got a sheet of cotton in there, right? Sandwiched. And here's the top. Kind of looks like a flat notch coil. And here's the inside of this bad boy. Now you get two different pins. You get a squonk pin. This is the squonk pin, as you guys can see. Look, squonk pin's installed. Or you can get the other pin. They call it the tank pin, where you can refill it. I prefer this in squonk mode, way over the fill mode, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. But yeah, this is in squonk mode, and they state this sucker holds two mils of juice. I measured about three mils. So right now I've got half of this maze sitting on the G box by Geek Vape. This is a squonk mod, I already got a full review on it, and I just wanna show you what this thing does when you squeeze it, when you squeeze that bottle in squonk. It's gonna shoot juice into that freaking deck or that tank area. Yeah, I'm just still squeezing, still squeezing and squeezing. And I measured the juice all the way up to those squawk holes right there on both sides. And it's about three mils. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this 0.2 ohm disc onto here. Give it another squawk. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's starting to saturate that cotton. Look at that. And what I like about squonk mode is, if you overdo it, it's going to pull it right back down. And she's already saturated, guys. That's killer. Again, I'm going to show you. Oh, look at that. And it's going to pull the excess juice down. And now that she's completely saturated, I'm going to go ahead and fire up at 80 watts. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And every time you go to tilt, that juice is going to hit that cotton. That's the idea for this bad boy. And when you feel it start to get muted, you just squonk again. It's like a sub ohm tank, squonk device, RDTA mode, all into one. So here's a disc that I've been using for about a week now. And I don't know if you guys can see this. It's kind of black on the outside. See that? It's black out here and then it's kind of black out here. That's that disc starting to oxidize. Just wanted to point that out. Now, if you don't want to run it in squonk mode, you could pop the other barrel in it and run it in fill mode. This is like a sub ohm tank mode or an RTA mode, whichever way you want to look at it. So I got the solid 510 pin in now, and then I got this other barrel in. And the idea is to stick your dropper in there or your unicorn tip in there and just squeeze, and it's supposed to fill this sucker up. Now, I don't like it like this because you can never fill it up when you have the disc on there. And let me show you why. So I pop the disc on. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Now, whether you jam it in there or pull it out slightly, it's going to fill up the same way every time. See that? 
there's no venting. And because there's no venting, you can't fill the sucker up full every time. Not even close. That's the sucky part about fill mode. That's why I don't like this mode. And you can't drip on this thing because if you go to drip, the juice is just going to pull on here and you're going to get spit back. So this isn't a dripper. This isn't a filler in my opinion. This is for the squonkers, guys. But once I have my airflow, my cap set, I just pop it on there. Oh yeah. And the beauty of this device is it doesn't matter where you position your airflow because they're all positioned the same. I want to point this out, okay? With my units, it came with 2.2 ohm, and I'll mention this in the close-ups, but the newest samples, I think they include like a 0.4 ohm, if I'm not mistaken. A 0.4 ohm disc and a 0.2 ohm disc. I could be wrong. It could be like a 0.3 and a 0.2, but I believe it's a 0.4 and a 0.2. But I'm just showing you what I got, and I got 2.2. So yeah, 60 watts, I got the airflow a quarter of the way open, out across the board, you know the drill. I mean, this thing has so much freaking potential. Like I said, it's like a flat cool head. It blows any sub ohm tank out of the water as far as flavor. When this thing is rocking and rolling. Now, is it always rocking and rolling? No. Like I said before, and I'm going to say it again, it's got so much potential, but is it perfect? No, no, no. It's got a long way to go. This, I think, is moving in the right direction, but there's some things that need to be changed. First of all, this thing is meant to be squawked, man. It's going to vape at its best in squawk mode. In fill mode, it doesn't work. Like I showed you in the close up, you just can't fill it up. And you can't pfft, drip on the sucker because when you go to drip, it's just going to flood the disc. It's going to sit on top of the disc. And you're gonna get major spit back. Like I said, this thing is meant to be squonked. You squonk from the bottom, it hits that cotton. Now, I will state this in my squonking experiences with this maze, there is break in. I mean, there's break in if you're doing it in film mode, but either way, man, you're gonna have break in with this disc. I will say at least a tank. It wasn't burning the cotton, it was breaking in that heating element at the top, that disc. But after about a tank, those dry hits, that muted flavor went away. Now, that's a big con. No newbie out there is gonna wanna deal with that. But after that break in period, let me tell you something, man, this sucker went to full on flavor RDA mode. Vandy Vape, if you can get this sucker to go to full on flavor RDA, mode from the get-go man this thing is gonna sell like hotcakes oh yeah and as far as airflow here she is wide open i want you to hear this it's like sucking through a big ass straw you cloud chasers out there you go like this man because you get a ton of, ton, ton, ton of buttload of airflow <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and close the airflow off just so you can hear it. Close off one of those bars, one of those three hole bars. Ooh, that's nice, nice and smooth. Close it off even more. I mean, it's smooth all across the board, guys. Close it off even more. <laughs> Kind of sounds like a really restricted kazoo, but it's a really restricted hit. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and open her up just a little bit more because I don't like it completely restricted off like that. Here she is. Smooth as a porn star's ass. So yeah, digging this airflow, the flavor is great. Also, the fact that it comes with an acrylic A10 drip tip, also a 510 drip tip adapter, so you can use your preferred 510 drip tips. She's 24 millimeter, and they said this sucker holds two mils of juice. No, I measured more like three mils. You could choose matte black, like I showed you in the close-ups with the red drip tip, or you could choose this stainless steel with the green. I'm sure they got other colors coming. Like that the kit comes with two discs. Like I mentioned, these flat discs are like flat coil heads. It's better flavor than I've gotten off of any coil head. And the lifespan for this is proven to be about the same as any regular coil head out there. But I'm letting you guys know I've only tested four discs and all four discs have lasted me at least a week. At least one week, no more than two weeks. That's pretty damn good. And that leads me to talk about the convenience factor. It's just like a sub ohm tank, but you have this disc. You just screw it in like I showed you in the close-ups. You fill it up. If you're squonking, you fill it up from the base and you go. Now, like I said, there's cons to everything and there's definitely cons to this. Do I think this is ready? Do I think this is newbie friendly? No, but it could be. I think this is moving in the right direction. You're covering more surface area, so you're going to get better flavor. You just got to make sure that the juice is hitting all that disc, right? That whole surface area. That way you don't get a dry burnt hit. And that leads me to the first con. And I've already mentioned it, but I'm going to mention it again. There's break in for this. I got a lot of dry hits at the beginning, but after I broke it in, I didn't get any. But there is break in for this, and I didn't like it. Second con, the barrel, it spins too easy. When I go to adjust the airflow, the whole barrel spins. Look at that. There needs to be a locking mechanism. Also, I think there needs to be a lip down here. That way, juice doesn't get on the mod because with this device, juice is going to get on the mod. They market this sucker could be filled up. Uh uh. There's no vent. You can't fill it up all the way. The first time you can, but after that, no. To get the best out of this device, you got to squonk. You can't drip on this thing. Like I said, if you drip, it's going to pull up and you're going to get major spit back. So, yeah, those are the cons that I had to point out for this device. They may be major to you, but I do want to point this out too. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying this. I think this is moving in the right direction. But if we can get to the point where we could pop a disc in and get the flavor that you would off of an RDA, and be just as convenient, this has the potential to be that new type of device for 2018, guys. That next generation sub ohm tank slash RDA slash RDTA slash RTA. You see what I'm saying? Price point, price point, price point. The prices I'm seeing online, they're going to be varying, man. I've seen them all the way down to 25 bucks, all the way up to 40 bucks. And I'll post links down in the description to the sites that I know of that are credible that are carrying this mother chugger right now. Now, the big question, the big answer of the day. Which vapor out there is going to benefit from this bad boy the most? Which vapor is going to need this? Going to want this? Gotta have it. If you're that type of vapor looking for something a little bit different, a little bit unique, definitely different 
different from the norm out there, well then get this puppy chugger, it's for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, liked it, found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like this video, well then hit that like button, let me know that you care, and share it for all your friends to see. And if you want to see more of me, then subscribe for more. This is Rip Chippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.